In this video, we will discuss the problem stack permutations. The problem says that we have been given two arrays, array A and array B, which consist of unique elements and the size of the both arrays is n. We have to check if one array is a stack permutation of other array or not. Stack permutation means that one array can be created from another array using some stack operations. So let's quickly check this out, the sample example that has been given. So if we'll uh, check this sample example here. So in this case, uh, the first example says that we have been given the array, which is of size 3. So n is equal to 3 in this case. And the first array A is nothing but 1, then 2, and then we have been given the element as 3. And we have been given the array B as nothing but 2, then 1, and 3. Okay. Now in this case, uh, if we'll observe, so using a stack, we have to tell that whether we can make this kind of a permutation or not. So let's quickly check that out. So first of all, we have been given the element as 1, 2 and 3 in the original array. Okay, that is the array A. So what we'll be doing here is, first of all, we'll push the element uh, into the stack. So first of all, we'll push the first element into, into the stack. Now we check uh, that we do not have uh, any uh, the element as the same. That is the element here the, is 2. So it is not the same. So what we'll be doing here is we'll say that, okay, let's move to the next element. So we'll insert the next element as well. Now, if you will see, so the this element and this element, the top element of the stack is the same as two. So basically what I'll do is I'll do a pop operation. So basically what will happen? I'll pop out two, right? And then after, after, after popping out two, I can say that the next element that is one and the top element of the stack, again, they are same. So I'll pop this element out as well. So you can see that basically, first of all, I inserted one and two, and now I have popped out uh, two and one. Okay, basically, first of all, I inserted one, then I inserted two, and then after that, I have popped both the elements out of the stack. Okay, and I can see that at least I am getting this much sequence as the same because two and one was here, and two and one is here as well. After this, I'll insert the next element that is nothing but three. So when I insert this, so again I can see that the next element is three, so I'll pop it out and I'll get three here. Okay. After this, we can say that the stack becomes empty and we are get able to get the subsequence. We are able to get this particular sequence. That is this particular permutation that is 2, 1 and 3 from the original array using the sum, using some of the stack operations. Okay. So for this case, we will return a true that, okay, it is possible. But let's check out the second test case as well, because it is also very important. So in this case, if we check out the second test case, which is uh, not possible to build. So let's quickly see. Uh, what the second test case has to say. So in the second test case, if you'll observe, so we have been given an array that is of size three again. So the array is one, two, and three. Okay, and the uh, and the permutation that we need is one, three, two, and one. Okay. So now if we will observe, so first of all we'll have a stack. Okay, and we'll insert the elements one by one. So I'll insert the element one. Now if I see here, so this element is not the same. So let's say I'll insert this next element as well. So I'll insert two. After that, if I check, so still the element is not the same. Then what I'll do is I'll insert the next element from the first array. So I'll insert three. Now after this, what happens? I'll pop three out because three is the same. So then what will happen? Three will get popped out. And now you can observe that at least the first element is the same. Then I move to the next element. So the next element now here is one. Okay. And you can observe that here what I'm getting is I'm getting here the element as two. So they are not the same. So in that case, I cannot make this particular permutation because without taking out two, without popping out two, I cannot pop out one. So this particular permutation that is three, one and two, I cannot make this particular array B that is three, one and two, I cannot make this particular permutation. So for this case, I'll return a false that this particular permutation cannot be used, uh, cannot be made using some of these stack operations. So basically for this, for such kind of cases, we'll return a false. And if we can make the permutation B, then we'll return a true that, okay, we can use a stack and we can make the permutation B from the original array A. Okay, that is what we have to do. And previously, this question has been asked in Amazon and Microsoft. So how can we approach this particular question? So let's come back to the sample test case one that was given to us. So let's quickly copy it again. So in this case, if we'll see this particular sample test case, so obviously it is uh, very sure that we'll be using a stack operation. So we'll be using a stack data structure for doing our operations. So first of all, the array is one, then two, and then three. Okay. And the second array B is nothing but two, then one, and then three. Okay. 
So what we'll do is we'll have one pointer i standing at the first array and another pointer j standing at the uh, second array. So both will be pointing to the very first element of both the arrays. Then I will take an I'll take an empty stack. Okay. So I'll have an empty stack. Now what I'll do is I'll first I'll insert one by one every ith element of the stack. Uh, every ith element of the array a. I'll insert it into the stack. So first of all I'll ins insert the element one into the stack. Now I will check is it same to the jth element is it uh, like is the top element of the stack same as the jth element uh, of the array b no it is not the same so in that case I will say that okay let's ins let's move our i and let's insert another element from the array a. so I, I move my i pointer by 1 and now I will insert this particular element 2 so I will insert this element 2 uh, into the stack now if I check so the, now the top element is nothing but 2 which is the same as the jth element okay so in that case what we will do is if it is same as the jth element so i'll say that okay let's pop this particular element out because of eventually i'll be having this when i pop out and then i'll move my pointer by one so i'll move my j pointer by one so now j moves here so i will again check that if the stack is not empty so is the current top element same as the j element yes it is the same so in that case i'll say that okay let's pop this out as well so i'll pop this out and i'll put it here and i'll move my j pointer by one again so j pointer again moves by one and j pointer moves here now what i'll do is uh, after that i'll increment my i and now my i will move to the last element of the array so i'll insert 3 into the stack and after that i'll check is the jth element of the array same as the i uh, is the jth element of the array b same as the top element of the stack yes it is the same so if it is the same then i'll again pop it out so i'll pop it out basically and then i'll move my pointer as well so i'll move my j pointer as well so j pointer moves here and then you can see that after that my i will get exhausted because i have uh, exhausted i have moved through all the elements of the array and now my i will be pointing to the end of the array and 3 will be here right so i have basically built this particular permutation and what is the case how can i observe that okay i was able to build this because you can observe that my j reaches the end of the array so basically j is equal to nothing but n and i can also observe that the stack becomes empty so the stack size becomes nothing but zero so in this case whenever j becomes n j whenever j reaches the end of the array and the stack size uh, is equal to zero that, that is the stack becomes empty after all the operations so in that case i'll return a true but let's quickly check out the second test case as well through a dry run so that we can be more sure about it so now if you observe the second test case that is given here so let's quickly uh, try to dry run it as well so now in this particular test case, if we'll, if we'll observe, so we have the array as 1, 2 and 3 and we have the array as A and we have the second array B as nothing but 3, then 1 and 2. And we have to tell that, okay, with by using a stack from these set of elements, whether we can make uh, this particular array B or not. Okay. So what we'll be doing is we'll again take a stack that is an empty stack we'll take. Okay. After this, we'll have one pointer I standing at the array A and another pointer j standing at the starting of the array b so i'll push the ith element of the uh, array a so one will be pushed inside the stack and then i'll check is it same as the jth element no it's not the same so i'll say that okay let's move our i by one again and let's try and insert uh, the uh, element so after that i'll insert two into the stack so is the current top element of the stack same as the jth element of the array b no it's not the same so i'll say that okay let's move forward and let's move to the next element in the array a so after that i'll insert the another element that is the third element that is nothing but 3 into the stack from the array a and i'll check is it same as the jth element of the b array so it is the same so in that case i'll say that okay let's pop this particular element out of the stack so let's quickly pop this out and then i'll move my j pointer by one so now what will happen my j pointer will move by one okay and then if i observe so current top element of the stack is nothing but 2 which is not the same which is not the same as the jth element of b so in that case i'll say that okay let's move my i forward so when i i when i move my i forward then i can say that i have exhausted the first array and still my stack is not empty and my j has not reached the end of the array b so that is when i will say that okay it is not possible for me uh, to build the permutation uh, to build the permutation b from the given array a using some stack operations so in that case i'll return a false so basically we can observe that if in the end if it happens that j is equal equal to n and uh, the stack size is 0 
in that case if the stack becomes empty and i reach the end of the second array that is array b in that case i can return a true otherwise if that is not the case so in that case the permutation is not possible and i'll return a false okay that is what we'll be doing so let's quickly code this approach as well uh, using the editor so what we'll be doing here is let me increase the font size as well here so let's quickly do that okay so what i'll be doing here is first of all i'll be taking a stack so let's take a stack so stack will contain the integers so stack int st, uh, int st so i'll first of all take the stack after this what i'll be doing is i'll be iterating through all the elements one by one so i starts from zero i is lesser than n uh, that is the size of the array and then i'll do an i plus plus after this part is done so i also need a j pointer so let's quickly declare a j pointer j is equal to zero okay after this what i'll do is we'll simply push the ith element of the uh, array a into the stack so i'll push the element and then what i need to check is i need to check that if it happens that the current stack is not empty right if the stack is not empty and since i am doing this task repetitively so i need to have a while loop because you will say that okay let's write what you will say that okay let's write st dot if the stack size is greater than 0 and uh, it happens if the stack size is greater than 0 that is if stack is not empty and the uh, current uh, stack uh, top if the current stack top is equal equal to the jth element of the array b so in that case we will simply do what we will simply uh, have the pop operation okay but uh, uh, apart from the or uh, apart from the pop operation we also need to do a j plus plus as well right that is what we will be doing but in this case we are uh, we also might need to do it repetitively right because if you will observe the previous test case here so in that case what we did was if 1 2 3 was given and we wanted to make 2 1 and 3 so if 1 2 and 3 was given and we wanted to make 2, 1 and 3. So in that case, what we did was we had one i here. So first of all, we inserted 1 into the stack, right? And then uh, we checked it with this element. So is it the same? No. So then we inserted what? We inserted the second element as well. So we inserted 2. After this, what we did was we said we saw that, okay, the jth element was the same as the top element. So we popped it out. Then after that, we checked again that if the stack is not empty. So after moving our j here, so we again checked if the stack is not empty. Before inserting, we checked that if the stack is not empty, and the current top element of the stack is same as the jth element then we again popped it out so since we are doing this so we need a while loop instead of an if statement so we'll write a while in okay uh, and this will not increase the time complexity because we are iterating at most n elements overall so that will not be square complexity okay so after this part is done so what do we need to check in the end we need to check that if if it happens that j is equal equal to n in the end okay if j reaches the end of the array that is the end of the second array and uh, the stack uh, is empty if the stack becomes empty as we have already is, uh, already discussed in that case we will simply return a true otherwise what we will do is we will simply return a false here right so that is what we will be doing here so let's try and uh, compile this code as well to check if it works on the samples or not so you can see it is working on the samples let's try and submit this code as well then we will discuss the complexity of this coding so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases that were there in this particular problem now coming to the time complexity of this problem so the time complexity will be nothing but order of n only okay because we are just iterating through the array and we are pushing the elements one by one and we are popping them at most one time so overall it will be nothing but order of n plus order of n that will be nothing but order of n only why order of n plus order of n because we are iterating through the array and we are pushing n elements into the stack and we are also taking out n elements from the stack right by moving our j pointer as well okay so that will be nothing but overall order of n only and talking about the space complexity so it will be nothing but order of n because we are using an extra space right we are using an extra stack space for solving this particular problem and talking about the problem so this problem has been previously asked in amazon and microsoft so make sure to submit it and if you have completely understood this particular problem so make sure to like the video comment down understood as well and subscribe the channel as well thank you